to start this tutorial, I'm going to be using my makeup primer spray from Scandinavia. I absolutely love this. It works so, so well. And then I'm going in with my MAC foundation. I'm just trying to use this up so I can get rid of it because I don't really use MAC anymore because they test on animals. But I thought it'd just be wasteful to just leave it in a tube and put it in the bin. So I'm using the rest of this foundation up. I'm in NC25 if you're wondering. And yeah, I know it's too dark for my face, but I fake tan my body and not like my the skin on my face because it just looks muddy and patchy when I do that. So I match my foundation to my neck, not my face before anyone comments about that. Because if I match it to my face, my face would be like Casper white and the rest of my body would be a lot more tan. So it would look really stupid. But I am using my beauty blender that desperately needs to be cleaned. Oh god, it looks gross. <laughs> and now I'm going in with my NARS. I think it's the Radiant Creamy Concealer, I'm pretty sure. And I'm making these huge triangles underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, on my forehead. And I kind of know what this does, but not really. I just kind of copy what everybody else does because everyone else seems to do this in tutorials. I know that it highlights your face and makes it look more 3D, but I don't know why you do the shapes. Does anyone know? I don't. Now I'm going in with my, what is this? Is it the Freedom palette? I think it's the Freedom contour palette. I'm using the banana powder like underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and basically everywhere that I've highlighted. Once again, I don't know why I do this, but everyone else does it, so I think I have to, you know? Now I'm going in with the contour shade, carving out my cheekbones, my temples, my nose, getting rid of my double chin and giving myself a bit of a jawline. And you know, I like doing this. I think this is my favourite part of makeup. I think like a really chiselled face looks really good. So this is my favourite part, I think. Apart from like the eyeshadow because I love glitter. I also like to use my beauty blend to clean it up a little bit. And now I'm going in with highlight. Oh, maybe highlight's my favourite part of makeup. I love just looking sparkly like a little fairy. I don't know. But I mix every single one of the colours together because then it's not too white, it's not too pink, and it's not too gold. It's just like the perfect tone for my skin. All of them mixed together. And now I'm going in with my Anastasia. Anastasia. See, I say Anastasia. But other people say Anastasia, so I don't know how you say it. But I'm using the Brow Wiz. This is really good. I like the colour of it. I just wish it was a tiny bit darker because my eyebrows are a little bit darker than the pencil is. But, you know, it works. My eyebrows look good at the end. And now I'm going in with my Sleek Contour, no, Highlight Palette. And I'm using the Creamy Pink shade. And I'm putting that on my lids because it helps my eyeshadow stick. And it's just, like, a great colour to use. I think this is Solstice or... Sol Sol it must be Solstice. I think the name of it is. And now I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm just using the shade Salted Caramel in the crease of my eye. Um, I really, really like this colour. I think it's a great transition colour. It really helps the eyeshadows blend. And I think it works on a lot of people's skin tones too. So if you think about getting a palette, this is a really good one. It's got like shimmery colours. It's got reds, browns, nudes, pink greeny tones just like matte tones as well so it's got pretty much everything you need i also used a color called semi sweet i think and one just called like dark chocolate or something like that just to darken it up a little bit and now i'm blending it out now i'm going in with mascara i just put a tiny bit on my upper lashes because I have eyelash extensions, as you guys can see. So I really focus it on my lower lashes more than anything. And now I'm going in with eyeliner. You guys know I love eyeliner. I just, it looks great. And I used to use this collection pen eyeliner. I feel like it works so much better than like um, a liquid liner, but I do fill uh, the gap in with a liquid liner i just like to draw the outline with a pen i feel like it's easier and it's more precise and then to get the really dark black color i use a liquid liner it looks like i'm doing a really really bad job of this but i swear i'm not it looks fine when i'm finished now i'm going in with a lip liner and a lipstick this lip liner i think is from either rimmel or Barry M. I'm not sure of the shade though, it's just kind of like my natural lip colour. And the lipstick is from Winky Lux. So for my hair, I'm just going to brush it out first because honestly, I don't brush my hair unless I need to. Like I'll just leave it in a bun. So my hair is always awful to brush. 
but I just brush through, rip half of it out, and then I put half of it up in a bun so it's just like out of my way so I can do the bottom half first. I have too much hair to just curl it in one go, it gets all attached and it just moulds into one huge curl. I'm losing my voice by the way, it sounds really croaky and like, I sound like a chain smoker. Which isn't funny because I joked about that in my last video. <laughs> But to do my hair, I just curl like a few pieces towards my face, a few pieces away from my face. And I use the Numi colors, the biggest barrel. This isn't sponsored at all. They send me these colors like in 2014. So yeah, not sponsored. <laughs> but if you're watching this, feel free to sponsor me again because you know, I use your colors every day. So that is pretty much it for the hair. I know it looks kind of 50s ish but i kind of like that old hollywood vibe i feel like my face suits it i guess you feel me do you think i could be like an old hollywood movie star i'm like pale and i have dark hair i don't know so for my outfit i just kept it really simple um i'm wearing one of these slip dresses i just think they're really pretty i know i'm like nowhere near the tray the, the trend like I, I miss that but i like them i think they're really pretty and they're very 90s and i also wore some black boots with these because honestly i can't walk in any other heels than these like i can't walk in stiletto or i can't walk in skinny heels it's got to be a black heel or a boot otherwise i am literally gonna fall head over heel so here is me and Finjamin on New Year's Eve. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, like it, share it with your friends, and leave a lovely comment. It would mean the absolute world to me. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you Sunday with a new video. Bye! Mwah.